So for interior designers who are using AutoCAD, one of the biggest challenges is making a interior drawing not look stiff and rigid because quite frankly, you know, interiors have soft furnishings and curved edges and a lot more nuances than the straight up and down orthogonal lines um, that are pretty easy and standard to do in AutoCAD. Uh, would actually entail. So there is really simple ways to go about actually creating drawings that are not as rigid and as um, kind of orthogonal in lines. So I'm going to go about this by using the different SP lines in the options. <laughs> So there are two splines that you can use to create more softer looking um, objects in AutoCAD. It's going to be the spline fit and the spline CV. So let's just look at what these look like. So the spline CV is using something called control vertices, which basically you can see you're just drawing lines and when you select it again, these are grab points or control vertices that you can then stretch and actually adjust the curve however you want. Now you can imagine this makes things, it, it makes the curves a lot more fluid in this way and you can actually have a lot of control after the fact when they've been drawn this way. The other option is with the spline fit. So this is going to be one basically it's slightly different. Instead of having those control vertices, the line itself is going to have the, line, the, the grab points on it. So you can still create some fluid curves, but it's I find this a little less intuitive than the ones with the control vertices because it's trying to infer the curve based on these different points, whereas the control vertices, you can start to actually see the relationship of the curve to the straight lines that are joined from uh, or implied from each of these points. So that's how the two splines work and you know if you don't want to go in and click the button it's just going to be SPL uh, and then you can actually choose which version you want. So M for method and then choose F for fit or CV for control vertices. So now let's look at these in action. So we're going to actually go in and draw um, this chair, so kind of like a 1970s vintage chair, as well as a cushion. So we can actually draw some things in our interior design drawings with AutoCAD without it feeling too stiff or too rigid. But I'm going to do the spline CV first. And I'm going to just get started. with something like this. So I'm just use those points and so it's going to be a sh chair that's about the same size and I'm actually going to make this a different color where we can see the difference. So I've just kind of added some really soft lines here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Grab some points. And something like that. And yeah, let's leave that there. Let's do an another set of lines.
let's do some polylines to create a new base. All right, so I'm going to just move that off to the side and we can see we've created a much kind of softer looking chair essentially. So I'm going to actually go in and add a few more things. So let's say It's a bit there. And trim it up. And pretending this is going to be like um, kind of a vintage style upholstery there would need to be a little bit more of a softness here, right? So I'm going to go back to my spline, turn off ortho, and basically, copy and paste it all the way down. And what we can then do delete that other line. So now with just a little bit of using a existing block that has the the overall geometry that I'm needing, so the height of the back and the height of the seat um, and the, the height of the plinth, I'm able to still use my spline command and some various other commands such as my um, uh, line and then offset and then trim to create something that is a little bit more curvilinear and showing that softness of this is kind of like a, a vintage 1970s style um, kind of armchair. Now one more thing that a lot of times it's really hard to do in AutoCAD is drawing cushions. So if, if you were kind of going about it in a really basic way, sure you could probably get away with something like this and it kind of looks like a cushion but it doesn't feel hospitable and it doesn't feel comfy so in my mind the easiest way to draw cushions in AutoCAD is going to be the same process that we just did but I have a pretty you know basic system of going about it so give yourself a rectangle like this and actually go back in and choose a few lines there let's do another one kind of coming in here and then we're going to do one from down below and same thing and then let's do one and i'm just freehanding it and now if i delete that rectangle and then do trim, I can create the appearance of a cushion that's much more in line with a hospitable kind of aesthetic. So instead of using just rectangles, we're able to really draw out exactly what we're wanting to, to show in the the elevation of this chair and it looks comfortable. It doesn't look stiff and hard to, to sit in. If you like that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching!